Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So don't call me out, I literally did a um, makeup tutorial-ish, a chit chat get ready with me with this look in my last video. So I just had time to film. So that's why I have the same makeup, but I'm gonna be doing a MAC limited edition haul. You guys love these. I don't have many in this video, but you know, I'm always buying, I'm always on the hunt. So I do have a few that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and I've been accumulating these over the past few months and basically wanted to share with you the MAC products that I found. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. I found a Barbie product. So this is from the MAC, Barbie Loves MAC collection from 2007. This is a very old product, a very old collection. And this is the uh, beauty powder in the shade Pearl Sunshine. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So it is a sleeve. This is what it looks like. It is just a sleeve, which I wish it had it like on the actual box, but this is what the beauty powder looks like. So if you guys are new here, I basically collect limited edition MAC products. And so I'm okay with it being used because I most likely probably won't be using it on myself anyway. So I do collect it more for like collection purposes. And this, I just is, it's just iconic. I had to, right? So yeah, this one is in the shade Pearl Sunshine. Love the packaging. And it's still pretty much brand new. Like it has a few little marks, um, like that it's been swatched but apart from that it's literally almost untouched so I think this was such a great find I'm so excited to add this to my collection really and truly I just bought it for the packaging of course but um, yeah I'm so excited to have this and this is such an iconic collaboration and I love that the label is not scratched up or anything it's super like brand new looking and it still says Barbie on it, Mac Barbie. So yeah, this is just an iconic collaboration collection and I'm so happy to have this in my hands. I have a Barbie lipstick as well that I bought. So now I have a powder compact. So excited. You guys know, I always love when I find the compacts of stuff. So that's the first thing that I found and picked up. The next thing I found was from the Mac and Dita Von Tees lipstick. Again, an iconic collaboration um and Dita Von Teese is such an icon as well love that it's red inside this is a little um scratched up the box but it's okay so this is her lipstick with MAC it has her like signature right there Dita Von Teese as you can see this is a matte and it's called Von Teese so this has been used slightly by the person but Again, I just bought it because it's hard to find. You won't be able to tell, but it does have Dita Von Tees embossed in the actual lipstick. It's just a classic, classic red. The only thing is, again, I can see like there's some smudges on it. It has been used. Part of me wants to, you know, maybe still be on the hunt for a more brand new version. Um, and if I can, then I'll buy the brand new one and then get rid of this. But for now, it will do, it will add to my collection. This one, I have to double check what year it is, but I will have it on the screen. I believe it's 2015. So yes, this is with Dita Von Tees. Had to add that to my collection because it's just iconic and she is absolutely beautiful. So I love that one. This next one, guys. Tint Tunes, oh my God. Now I wasn't, I wasn't into makeup because I think I was like, how old was I? I was like nine years old in 2005, I think. So um, this is the Tint Tunes collection from 2005 and um, has the Disney characters and it's the Tinted Lip Conditioner with SPF 15. This is in the shade, oh, I don't even know. Does it have a shade? But this is what it looks like. Oh, it's called Daisy Days. And this is it right here. Cute little pot with the little pink lip balm. So yeah, this is Daisy Days and it is completely and 100% brand new. So this is just, oh my God, I literally want to dip my finger in it, but I don't want to touch it. So it's like a watermelon pink, juicy watermelon pink lip balm. Looks super glossy and shiny. I really wish MAC did things like this again. And yeah, this is just a tinted lip conditioner with SPF 15, a very rare collection that a lot of people are after. It does have a little bit of like some marks on the packaging, but nothing a little cleaning won't fix. And pretty much apart from that, it is brand new, spanking brand new. 
and love 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 how it is it's super cute they do have of course other little characters and colors as well but i'm so excited to find like to have found this the really um the really exciting part about it was that when i saw this um i was closely watching the seller because i did want to purchase it but they were selling it for i think 50 or 60 pounds which i could not justify for a lip balm um so 50 or 60 pounds and then they dropped it to i believe 40 then they dropped it to 30 because it wasn't selling they then dropped it to 20 pounds and listen i was debating again i was like oh my god but i was like mm, do I want to spend £20 on just the lip balm? I mean, even though I'm not going to use it, this is the whole purpose of buying them is for collection purposes. But still, something in me was just like, don't buy it. And then eventually, the seller dropped it down to £5. £5. And then with shipping, it was £8 total. £8 for Tint Tunes, 2005, brand new. Cannot beat it with a stick. Next, another iconic collaboration. MAC and Marilyn Monroe. I do have a beauty powder from the Marilyn Monroe collection, but I never had a lipstick. I remember this collection and I remember seeing the lipsticks and I never picked it up. This is from 2012 with Marilyn Monroe. I believe it's 2012. And yeah, just, I mean, do I need to say anything about it? Absolutely classic, an icon, iconic, everything about it. This lipstick shade is in the uh, shade Scarlet Ibis. Ibis has a little lipstick. Oh, look at that. So yeah, Marilyn Monroe lipstick, had to get it. Such a great find. I forgot if this is brand new, but it says Mac Marilyn Monroe with the signature right there. And then her, she's so beautiful. This, yeah, this is pretty much almost brand new. I can see it has been used a few times, but it's like an orange based red. So it's still a very strong signature red, but it does have that orange base to it. So super iconic. Um, let me see if I can swatch it super iconic it's a matte finish as well you can see it's orangey so yeah this is such a great find as well to add to my collection so i now have a marilyn monroe lipstick which i'm so obsessed with and again this one has the sleeve with her on it so yeah these are still in great condition but you know if i find it in even better condition one day like super brand new with no scuffs or nothing then i'll get that as well this is super random but i literally saw this for like two pounds and I bought it on Depop. It's a little MAC key ring, but it's also a mirror. So I thought, you know what? Let me get it because it's super cute. Frosty, pink, chrome. Um, it's from the Frosted Fireworks collection from 2020. I don't know why I didn't get this because I bought the whole collection. Maybe it was part of something. I think it was part of the advent calendar, but I just got it because I can literally just throw it in my bag, use it as a mirror or actually attach it to something. So yeah, it's cute. Nothing special. MAC Lorna Lux. I have been wanting this for a while and I remember it being on the MAC website. This was from last year, 2021, with Lorna Lux, who is an influencer. Uh, I believe she's an influencer or um, something with fashion. And I wanted this and I remember at the time it was selling for about £80 on the MAC website. And I didn't want to pay it because I'll tell you why I wanted it specifically. I wanted it for this bag right here, for this bag. But again, I just couldn't justify paying that much just for a bag. This is a sleeve. I saw it on eBay for £30 and I grabbed it because why? It came with all the full size products. The person didn't use it and they just sold it because it was a gift and they didn't want it. So I got it for £30 on eBay. I specifically wanted it for the bag. This is a faux leather white bag. It is so, so, so soft. And I'm going to be using this. Oh, and it's like felt, soft felt on the inside. I'm going to be using this as like my little makeup bag or skincare bag or something like that. And it comes with a full size of Fix Plus. It also comes with the brush black eyeliner, which you guys know I absolutely love. Again, all brand new and full size. The Power Glass, which I've never tried. Power Glass Lip Glass. And this is in the shade A Pout A Girl which is a really gorgeous kind of peachy gloss. And then it also does come with two other products, MAC Mineralize Blush in Warm Soul, which I have. It's a really super pretty natural like blush shade with a little peachy tone. And then the Powder Kiss Lipstick in Mullet Over, which is a permanent shade, but it just has Lorna Luxe's signature embossed in the lipstick. So I was like, for £30 to get all full-size products, which is worth like more than 100 
is an incredible deal and I get to have my little bag that I've been after. So this is a beautiful shade. I don't actually own this one. So yeah, I'm so, so happy to have found that little bargain, that little deal. So even though it's not like a limited edition, like a rare uh, collection, I still wanted to get it because it does come with the little bag, which is the main reason why I wanted it. But I also get all these full size products as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Love, love, love this. I don't want to get it dirty, but you guys can see right there. Super cute. And last but not least, I know there wasn't much in this haul today, but you guys know I'll always show you guys more stuff in the future when I buy it. But um, this I bought, I know it's so sad, but I bought it from an ex-Mac employer over on Depop. She was selling the iconic Mac necklaces that you get when you work at Mac. Now, I worked at Mac back in 2017, so I actually didn't get this necklace because they stopped making them and giving them to employers, so I did miss out on that. But she had uh, a few of these because she was a, I think she was like a manager or some someone higher up in the Mac department. And she had a few of these. It is real, of course, everything here is authentic and 100% real. And I just wanted one for myself because I was like, how can I be a Mac queen and not have a Mac necklace, like an employer Mac necklace. And I did work at Mac, so technically I deserve it. This is just so iconic. I should wear this every time I do a Mac limited edition video, right? It's so cute, says Mac, the little Mac logo. And she included this for free. I didn't buy this because I'm not that crazy, but she included this because I did buy things from her before. And this is a Mac pen. Again, only staff members like higher up in the head office had this. So this is just a Mac little pen. They didn't give this out to anyone else. So it's just cool to have like a little, you know, something to add to my collection, something that people can't buy or can't have unless you worked in head office. And yeah, I wanted to show you guys the necklace. I'm so excited that I have a Mac necklace now. So it is so also rare. People sell these for like a hundred pounds on eBay. So um, yeah. I just, oh, I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have bought anything recently from Mac um, or just like Mac limited edition products yourselves. If you found any on um, eBay or on Depop or anything like that. And let me know which product you own as well that I showed if you do own any of these. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love doing these videos. I'm definitely gonna be doing more again. I know you guys love the Mac content. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, comment down below. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.